All right, hello everyone, Rob here, ScrappyDo.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about how we can knock a project out that's very similar to this that you see right here on my screen. So let me go ahead and show you this right here. So uh, th this was all created in uh, Shortcuts a lot. Uh, links will be down below if you're interested in this program, in the software, uh, as well as uh, any of the things that we use in this video. But uh, anyways, uh, what we have here is we have somewhat of like a scalloped kind of circle there. Uh, we have some dash lines to indicate some stitching and then we have some writing font that's on here as well and uh, you know again uh, towards the end of this video we're going to show you how you can uh, bring this into Cricut Design Space for you Cricut users as well all right because this thing can work for you all right so anyways um, let me just go ahead and create create a new page here real quick and uh, the whole uh, the whole thing that we use for the scallop border, again, we created everything inside shortcuts a lot uh, that you'll see here. So for that, I went to the uh, the shape tool here, and I went down to circle. And the, the thing that I'm looking for is just uh, to make an oval. So you don't want to hold the shift button down or anything like that. Uh, just go ahead and click release. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a, to a color just so that we can see sort of what's happening. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and choose the selection tool. So uh, pretty simple so far. And then I'm going to go up to Object, Duplicate, Rotate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This is the little menu box that appears, and you're going to see uh, what it's doing here. So I'm just going to increase this here to, we'll, we'll say, like, 16 might be good. We'll take a look. Maybe 20. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the, the V offset. All right. So let me go ahead and bring that a little closer. Okay. So you, you can sort of see it's, uh, you know, it's, it's looking like a, a scallop shape so far. Right. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK. And now the next thing is we need to, like, make this all one one file or uh, one little pattern shape and to do that uh, very simple very simple just go up uh, here to the uh, path and click on union and uh, for the cricket folks out there that's uh, very much like a weld okay all right so now we have our our scalloped shape uh, now the next thing is uh, you know we need to do the do the stitch work right so uh, in order to do that real quickly it's a go to effects and then uh, I went over here to shadow layer contour and you know you have the choice. You can I mean, you can either increase, increase, decrease this, or you can do an inset shadow. Uh, sort of see what that looks like as well. But uh, anyways, uh, what I did for the other one is I, I just bumped it up just a just a couple, uh, just to get a nice little effect there. And then I just went ahead and clicked on OK. All right. So we have uh, two pieces here. Uh, we have the inner piece, uh, and then we have the outer piece. So you can see that there, inner piece, outer piece. And uh, the inner piece is going to be the one with the stitch work. Okay, and that's where we go down to line style. And you can choose some of the defaults here, um, or you can even create your own. So uh, I know you can't probably see what's going on here with this. So let me reselect this, go to line style, click on that. And uh, what I did on the, the other one here, just so we can sort of see what's going on, is uh, I changed it to red. And then I changed the the opacity of it just uh, just a just a tad, just so we can see uh, that we do have some stitch work going on. Okay, so with the uh, with the stitch work, okay, uh, again you can edit the line style. All right, you can maybe you know make this uh, make this twenty and then make this ten. Right, and you can see how the uh, the stitch work sort of changes here, and then we can click on the replace to see what it looks like there, and that lo that looks really good. Okay, uh, just keep in mind that the more stitch work that you have, the uh, the more pin pin work you need. Uh, you know, it's going to take some time for it to cut that shape out and stuff. All right. Uh, the the next thing is uh, the hello that's on here, and Lettering Delight has some pretty neat writing style fonts. They're called Open Path fonts, and uh, if you're not familiar with it, I'll put a link down below that uh, you can get. But anyways, uh, on Mac users, if you if you just type in uh, LD and you install the font and everything. Uh, you, you'll see that uh, it will select it there, and let me go ahead and sort of type out hello. You can so you you can see that it's uh, it's a it's a nice little writing style uh, font. So you know just put something like that on the 
on the tag and uh, the, the next part here is going to be for the for the Cricut Design Space users out there. Uh, but if, if your machine cuts with your cuts a lot, hey, perfect. Uh, your next part is all done. I mean, all you have to do is is cut and uh, you know assign the drawing and and everything. But uh, I did want to show Cricut Design Space users how we're able to get this file into Cricut Design Space and use. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select everything and go up to File Export. And uh, here I'm just going to call it Stitch. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And here is our export options uh, selection only because we selected it. And then uh, design space compatible. So make sure that is check marked for you design space folks. And go ahead and click on OK. All right, so next let's go right into design space here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the upload button. So upload here. Select my image. Click browse. And there's the stitch. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. Now there's going to be a couple things that we're going to need to do in order to get this to work out perfectly inside Cricut Design Space. So let me go ahead and click on the save. And now I'm going to go ahead and load it onto my canvas. So you, you'll see that if we, uh, you, you know, let me go ahead and zoom out here. If we go ahead and click on the make it now, uh, you know, it's it's not going to be right. So we, we need to assign some things here in order to get it to work properly. You know, we want the stitch work on top of everything, but uh, really, um, we're going to first uh, select all of these pieces here. So we have uh, the, the stitch work as well as all those letters, right? So uh, we can select each one of these and uh, we can change that to a draw, okay? Uh, that's the thing that we want to cut. Now the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and select everything and click on attach. And then that is it. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and click on the make it now. And you can see that everything's all on one mat. Um, and that's exactly how we need it. And it's going to cut out the, the scallops and it's going to put the hello on there. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this out and we can see the, uh, the end result here. All right, so here we are. We're just uh, finishing up the scallop dash lines of that uh, scallop circle there. Now we're moving on to the lettering delight letters. You can see that it is truly single line and that's that open path font. And then uh, obviously we're, the machine's going to cut the scallop circle that bottom shadow layer all right but uh hey guys uh, we're, we're going to show you a video or a photo here of the finished product but I, I tell you what thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i hope you learned something from this video until next time bye